Welcome to Storyberries Radio. You can read along with any of our stories all for free at our website, storyberries.com. Plug Hole by Jade Maitre Charlie loved baths. Doesn't everyone love baths? He could make towers of bubbles, beards of foam, and splash like the kraken. He liked the water hot, the soap slippery, and the mirrors steamy. He liked to stay in there for hours until the water went cold. Well, that's not entirely true. He didn't like it when the water went cold. But he generally stayed in the bath until the water got cold because there was only one thing in the world worse than staying in a cold bath. It was that moment when Mum would lean over the edge of the bath and say, Come on, Charlie, help me pull out the plug. Come on, Charlie! And Charlie would feel it, that dread, frightened feeling in the base of his squeaky clean tummy. That moment when the plug would lift and as Mum raised it from the water, the bath would gurgle in anticipation. That moment when the soapy water would swish and swirl, churn and chortle, draining down, down, down until it made that dreadful sound. It was terrible. It was terrifying. It was nothing short of ghastly. It was the sound of a kid slurping snot down their throat, a soul being sucked from a shoe, a brick dragged on a chalkboard, rattled along a row of fingernails and hurtled into some dark, bottomless tornado. Every time it happened, Charlie was stricken. He would skid to the end of the bath and whimper for Mum to pick him up. He did not want to be anywhere near the plug hole. He wanted to be clean out of the bath, in the air and away, in her safe, warm towel. Every time. And every time, Mummy would laugh and say, It's just the plug hole, Charlie. You can't fall in. But that's where Mummy was dead wrong. One fateful day, as Mummy laughingly fished beneath the sudsy water for the plug, saying, Come on, Charlie, help me pull out the plug. Charlie was horrified to see his worst fears realised. As she leaned with her hand into the water and began to lift the black, lifeless plug from the plug hole, there was an almighty groaning, gurgling sound. The sink slipped. Before anybody knew what was happening, Mummy was sucked down, down, right into the plug hole. Mummy! cried Charlie, and there was nothing for it. He couldn't let her go down there alone. He had to follow her into the plug hole. Charlie swished and thrashed as he tumbled in. Down, down he fell into the grim, ghastly underbath. Pipes loomed up, the dark closed in. Charlie heard the strangest sounds, creaking and clatters, grumbles and whines. The water swooshed around him like a fiendish wave. He smelt shampoo and the dirty tides of muddy kids. Mum, he called. Way down in the distance, he thought he saw a flash of his mother's hair. But it was too fast and fleeting. She was too far ahead. Before he knew it, lickety-split, he met a bend in the pipe. Whoosh! He slipped helter-skelter, flim-flam, clap-trap, pell-mell, down the metal pipes. The water surged, rumble-tumble, clinkety-clank, higgledy-piggledy, flap-doodle, hurly-burly, topsy-turvy, down, 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 cascading through the pipes with him. Suddenly, he tumbled headlong into an S-curve. There was a surge of suds, a whiff of downpipe, a skid and a slip, a spill and a dip. Charlie nosedived into a plummet and plunged a hundred metres in two seconds flat. Whee! he cried. It was really quite fun. Almost exactly like a water slide, only cosier and with warm, nice-smelling water. There was a flash of brightness and Charlie was shot into the air and into the light of day. He landed with a splash into the sea 
And there, bobbing beside him with the biggest smile on her face, was Mum. And there was a pot of dolphins nearby and a rainbow to boot. Where are we? said Charlie in wonder. We've just landed in the sea, laughed Mum. All plug holes lead to the sea. And they played with the friendly dolphins till it was bedtime. No bath needed. The end. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids.